Hello everyone, this is Unreal Noob and welcome to Unreal Engine 4 Beginners Tutorial. In our last lesson, we made the directional head system and in today's video, we will be looking at the AI again. We will be making some very basic functions uh, so that when they come close to you, they will attack you. So without any delays, let us get started. The first thing that you'd want to do is go to your content folder and from here open up our dungeon crawler folder and in our AI let us open up our BP enemy base. In the event graph let us clear these out a bit. Just like that. <clears throat> so in our set, uh, set new target, we are setting the target if it is not already set. We are checking if our enemy is not dead, and then setting up our target locations. We don't need this anymore. Location if our target is valid, we don't even need this. Chase player once so we want to make another custom event we'll call it attack so on success we'll do we'll call the attack And in a, and in the attack, what we could do is mm, we first have to check a few things, such as if our target is still valid. If it is valid, let's uh, that would be second. Actually, the first thing we need to check is that the enemy itself is not dead when it is not we are checking if our target that is ourselves the player is valid or not and if they are valid what we'd want to do is mm, We'll play some montages. Sorry, play some montages. For now, let's just stick with one. And for the montage, we have to make a montage. Am AI light attack. just call this so <clears throat> am ai light attack and on the blend out yeah we'll make um We'll say the attack 
sorry attack am am playing attack montage is playing just like that we'll set it to true and on blend out we'll set it to false so we need to add in a few things over here the first would be over here we want to make sure that we are not playing the montage only then this runs even the chase mm, anything else that we should and this one as well we shouldn't attack while we are attacking so it might skip some animations and do some things so let's see Chase player acceptance radius. Let's make it three hundred, maybe. Three hundred is a bit too much. Two hundred. This is good enough. So <clears throat> we have successfully made the logic for the attack montages. So I'll name it attack montage. Now what we should do is make a similar logic in our player. Mm. But yeah, we will do that in the next video. In this one, let us make a custom event we'll call it light attack over here we'll do a sphere overlap actors almost the same thing that we did in our player character so let's go back over here uh, right we had that in the player controller right so yeah something similar to this <coughs> we'll do this pawn and we'll do this from the capsule component right uh yeah sorry can do it from the self mm, self Fifty one fifty. Make sure it was our player reference. And if it was, we'll just 
damage the player but for now let's just print string let's say 10 uh, also yeah we need to actually call this light attack mm. We should do it in the AI montage itself. AI light attack. I think this is a good enough place. Montage notify. Save close. And over here on notify begin, we'll call in our light attack, which calls this. Okay, so let's see what happens. Yeah, also before attacking, we might want to make sure the AI is looking at the player so we will do set actor rotation split this one find look at rotation split this as well actor rotation split this the x goes here the y goes over there like that and get actor location is the start and get your target and do a get actor location for that as well and plug it in just like that now let's see Yeah, looks good. Uh, let's see how it looks without the debug spheres. That's really annoying. So I'll make it full screen so that you guys can look better. Okay, this is good. It's working as you can see. Now, if I'm dodging their attacks, as you can see, like the 10 is not, not showing up. If I cannot dodge their attacks, yeah, it still shows just like that. But if I'm able to dodge it, it doesn't show. which is really good and I will add the player health and the armor in our next lesson so thank you guys for watching this video and as usual if you learn something from it please do like and subscribe to my channel because that really helps me a lot and I'll see you guys in the next one